Bigger isn't always better when it comes to the ocean. Surprisingly, some of the largest animals in the ocean are not dangerous at all. By this fact, the blue whale is the largest known animal on the planet Earth. This gigantic beast has the equivalent weight of 33 elephants, and surprisingly, its appetite is minimal. Blue whales only eat krill, the equivalent of eating about one centimeter of a pizza. On the other hand, if we consider the whale shark, this dangerously named animal only eats planktons and other small fishes. To rule the ocean and be at the top of the food chain, a sea animal must have special hunting skills, an extraordinary appetite, and of course, a sharp set of teeth. Typically, people consider sharks as the top predators of the ocean. Well, they're wrong. Killer whales rule the roost, so to speak. These animals aren't actually whales, but dolphins. It's hard to imagine that a cute little dolphin is the absolute ruler of the ocean. Killer whales are much like wolves, which are again the rulers of their own food chain. Killer whales hunt in the form of groups and are apex predators. They aren't scavengers at all. Resident killer whales are often spotted preying on salmon. On lucky days, transient orcas can be spotted. Transient orcas eat everything, including fish, seals, sharks, and surprisingly, other whales too. If you doubted the apex status of killer whales, you must know that a few wildlife watchers on the coast of California caught a white shark being attacked by a killer whale. The fight didn't end well for the shark, and the killer whale won. The first fight between a killer whale and a shark was documented way back in 1997. A great white shark was predated by two orcas. The orca usually prefers to eat the liver and leave the rest of the body, and they did the same with this shark. Bodies of two great white sharks appeared off the coast of Africa in 2017. The orcas were the suspected killers, as both the sharks were precisely attacked in the liver area and had no livers. The terrifying part is that the transient orcas are very intelligent animals. Nothing is more frightening than an intelligent predator. Orcas hunt in packs, and their presence can bring about considerable changes in the area's ecosystem. When the great white sharks succeed in fleeing during an attack, they do not return to the area for another year. Thus, the animals that the great white sharks prey on do not decrease in number as they usually do. The change affects the surrounding ecosystem. Considering the known facts, it's not unfair to call orcas the real apex predators of the ocean. The question that now arises is why orcas are called killer whales. The orcas were named the killer whales by ancient sailors who witnessed packs of orcas predating on species of other whales. The sailors called the orcas Assassina Ballenas, meaning the killer whale. Later, the name was flipped over in an easy version, which is now known as the killer whale. Orsinius Orca is the Latin name for the orcas. Orsinius means the kingdom of the dead, and the name Orsinius Orca was derived from the observation that orcas attack other larger whales. Though the orcas are indeed the top predators of the ocean, they aren't as vicious as the ancient mariners thought them to be. If we compare the orcas with the other great white sharks, the killer whales tend to have a far friendlier and cuter image because of how they're portrayed in the movies. As we're talking a lot about the great white sharks, let's have a brief look at them. The great white shark, with their mighty, streamlined bodies and sharp teeth, are able to smell a single drop of blood in 10 billion droplets of water. They can catch any movement from as far as 820 feet. Great white sharks can reach their prey in a few minutes with their speed of 43 miles or 69 kilometers per hour and surprise their prey. With this speed, they can eat their prey in one bite. The terror of the sharks is as scary as it can get. However, great white sharks don't attack or eat human flesh. Any attacks recorded in the past weren't fatal. If you plan to get in the ocean, please make sure you aren't bleeding. The great white shark often eats sea lions, dolphins, small-toothed whales, sea turtles, and seabirds. They might even eat the decaying flesh of any other sea animal. The great white shark, similar to whales, can completely exit the water to catch their prey. It's time to surprise you with another fact. A land animal is tied up in this food chain, the polar bear. Though polar bears are land mammals, they spend a significant amount of time in the ocean. Polar bears are great swimmers who can swim many hundred miles away from the land. The big bodies of these mammals need a constant source of fuel. Polar bears tend to eat seals, belugas, narwhal, whales, walrus, and even fish at times. Polar bears don't have access to sea animals in the summertime because of the melting of the ice. They're left to look for birds, carcasses, and berries. Seals are the favorite prey for polar bears. Polar bears might wait for days for a seal to appear at a breathing hole to catch a breath. 
The hungry polar bear catches the seal with their powerful paws, and with a single bite, the polar bear crushes it. When it comes to the most ferocious hunters of the Arctic, leopard seals are at the top. With their razor-sharp teeth attached to their big, strong, and wide jaws, the leopard seals can easily prey on and rip apart their favorite meals, penguins and other seal pups. Don't get distracted by the cuteness. When it grabs a penguin, this animal thrashes it to and fro until the penguin's skin peels off. The leopard seals then eat their carcass. I recommend that if you see a sea leopard, don't try to pet it. Weighing around one ton, a sea leopard has an extreme appetite. They'll eat from anything to everything. They usually feed upon fish, squid, crustaceans, and even krill. A sea leopard near Sydney reportedly ate an entire full-grown platypus. Catch you later.